All right, guys, this one's a tricky one, man. I, I really like this problem, but it's gonna just, it's gonna challenge you in so many ways. Let's draw a picture. I think it's super important to draw a picture. So I've got an angle, a slope, right? And we know the height of the slope, what was it? 3.10 meters, that's the height, that's this number. And we've got a, you know, what is it called? A, a box of supplies, here's our box of supplies. It's gonna be on some wheels or skis, it looks like. And we're trying to find what velocity it's going to take to get it to the top of the hill. But the problem is we have friction. There's friction along this axis right here. And friction, so actually let's, let's back up. The first thing you need to realize is you're trying to find the speed. So that's going to be 1 half mv squared. But you also have to overcome some work, right? Some... some uh, uh, some friction, right? But the friction is not a force. So if you recall, work is force times distance. So this is the force of friction, and that distance is going to be the distance up the slope, if you will. I'm going to switch to red. The red line, if you will, right? So I'm going to say plus work is equal to, because you have to get to this height, that's equal to mgh. Um, so mass is the mass of our object, which looks like it's 2.6 kilograms. We know M. So numbers we know, we know the red numbers, okay? We know the red number. G is 9.8 and H is 3.1. And your goal is to find the V, right? So if I can find the work, then I know all the numbers except for V, right? I know everything that's red. So the trick is finding the work. Now, the force there is the force of friction. And if you remember, the force of friction is the coefficient of friction times the normal force, right? Now, they gave us the coefficient of friction. That's this number right here. Six, so 6 point whatever times 10 to the minus 2. You move the decimal place over two places. So mu equals 0 0.06. So this is 0 0.06. So all we now need to do, by the, this is not the work, this is the force of friction. This is finding this number over here. So the normal force, now I know this is, this is like all the archives we've been learning. If I have the, the cart or whatever on there, he has a gravitational force downward, and then his normal force is off at an angle, and we know this angle, what is it, 30 or something degrees? Yeah, so this is 30 degrees. So if this is 30 degrees, the normal force, let me draw this in some coloration. You're gonna draw a triangle this way, that's downward, and then you're gonna draw a triangle, and I'll make a different color, this way, right? But the normal force, the normal force is this red force right here. This is the normal force. Now, if this angle here is 30 degrees, then that means that this angle here is also 30 degrees. So what you're trying to find, the normal force, the normal force is this red line. So the normal force is this number. Now, what else do you know? You know that the green force, that's gravity, that's equal to mg. Now let's calculate that. So you'll take m times g, so, the mass was 2.6 kilograms times 9.8. Now, I'm going to round it up. Now, do not round it up when you're doing the problem, but 2.6 times 10 is about 26. So this is about 26. It's a little less than 26. Now, that's the hypotenuse of this triangle. So I can say, now the red line is the cosine, because this is the adjacent angle right here, right? So I can say, I can say that the cosine of 30 degrees is equal to the normal force over 26-ish. So you're going to find the normal force by doing this math. That's the normal force that you're going to plug into here, right over here, right? So this is your normal force that you're going to plug in here. Once you know the normal force, you can find the force of friction warning <laughs> that's still not the answer remember work is force times distance so that gives you this number how do you find the distance 
Well, you need to figure out how far now the big red line is, right? How far this line is, because we know the height of this is 3.10, but how big is the hypotenuse, right? So the distance that you're gonna plug in here is this red distance. Now, how do you do that? These are a little hard on the, I think on the algebra business. So what you're gonna do is I can say, the so, this is a sine, I can say the sine of 30 degrees, right? is equal to the opposite. But I know the opposite. The opposite is 3.10 over my distance, right? The distance that is this distance, right? Okay. Now, when you do that, of course, you would times both sides by D. The Ds cancel on this side to the right. And I can, I'm trying to find uh, the distance, right? And so if I now divide both sides by sine 30, Sine 30 cancels on this side, so D, it's kind of weird, it's 3.1 divide sine 30. That D that gets plugged into work equals force times distance. So then when we're back to our main equation here, you're going to say 1 half mv squared. Now m, you know, is 2.6, and v is your x. You don't know that. That's what you're trying to solve, plus your force of friction times your distance, which is this number here, right, times this distance here, and then that's equal to the other side, mgh. You know m, again, still 2.6, this number here. g is 9.8, and the uh, h is the 3.10 number. And then you will do some math and solve for v.